So I was going to show y'all my latest little project that I got talked into doing about a month or two ago and I've been working on off and on for since then one or two days a week. Um, here's my scaffolding up here. Top of the, it's actually on the one story porch off the house. The chimney right there, I've had to tear down to the flashing. I'm rebuilding six or seven feet up. The biggest problem is I've got to put two liners down this thing. The lower one, of course, to a larger fireplace. And um, it's got to be rectangle flex, which you might can see down there. I've got 22 feet down there, which is about what I need. And it's got to be long ways this way. And then when it gets down to go around the upstairs fireplace, it's got to turn 90 degrees. And then when it gets down to the side of the upstairs smoke chamber, it's got to turn back 90 degrees to be in line and be directly over the fireplace as best as I can to get it. I um, figured out how to fix my mortar up here so that I don't have to carry water at least up. And I've got power, my own power up here, of course, in my ruby mixer and I just I'm putting this PWR or whatever stuff in my mortar yeah um, for whatever it's worth just to try it and there's my mess because today I actually had planned to put the liner in but when I got here I found out the guys were um, reframing inside the house and they've taken the stairway out to the upstairs they pulled most of the floor out in the living room where I need to work. And so I'm going to lay brick instead, at least until they take off, hopefully earlier. My latest plan is to actually cut that liner approximately in half and put half of it down and have it in right where I've got it breached beside and above the upstairs fireplace. I didn't cut out the upstairs fireplace because all the walls were ripped out so I could just cut through the side of the chimney and brick it up when I'm done as best as I can because it's going to all be covered up anyway. So I'm going to put about half of it down with all the twists and turns, secure it at the bottom, seal it off, chamber tech the smoke chamber, and then do a connector upstairs at the halfway point and put the other piece down. And I may have to extend it just a little bit, depending on how it squishes or stretches. But anyway, so far it's been okay. This is um, the skyline of Greenville. And this is Earl Street, which is in the hysterical district of Greenville. And you have to be careful. That's about the fifth or sixth dumpster they've had for this house, I'm thinking, because they started demoing about three months ago.